Let's go back to the phone lines. Next up is Robert listening in Nashville, Tennessee. Hi, Robert. Hey, Hank. How you doing? Thanks for taking my call. I'm a first-time caller. Thank you. And uh, my question is, uh, do angels have free will? And uh, uh, my guess would be that uh, at one time they did, but now they probably don't. And uh, that free will is now something probably that's unique to mankind. Yeah, I think you said it correctly. I think, first of all, you need to recognize that Scripture knows nothing of a future rebellion of the holy angels, because in eternity there is no place for sin. And we can know that the angels will not rebel a second time and that they pass the supreme test the first time. And I think to contend that the holy angels are free and not able to, to sin is not a contradiction because we have God as a prime exemplar, his ultimate freedom, and yet is not able to sin. And I think the holy angels are in much the same condition. In obedience, they are not only genuinely free, but have been actualized in their freedom or in their righteousness. Right, yeah, I agree. I agree totally. Uh, it's kind of unthinkable to, you know, to think they could actually go astray now if they wanted to, but Well, there's no reason you would want to. I mean, think about in eternity. We're not going to be able to sin because we're not going to have the world, the flesh, and the devil to tempt us, and we're going to have requisite knowledge. I mean, we're going to be in the presence of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords as we learn and grow and develop in our relationship to Him and explore His created handiwork. 